Yeah, right. Oh my god. Look, Linda. Linda. You're not listening to me, okay? That quote on my Facebook page by Joseph Goebbels is totally accurate when describing Trump. Okay? End of story. God. Oh, hi there. My name is Buffy Jacqueline Ophelia Brown, and I'm currently a junior up at Sierra Nevada College in Incline Village. And I felt it necessary to go on record this week as this total brawl between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders seems to me to be a turning point in our nation's history. Okay? Bernie Sanders is sexist. Look, seriously. CNN dropped the story on January 13th, and that night, Professor Suzanne Roberts, Ph.D. of Sierra Nevada College, posted this New York Times article publicly on her Facebook page to say, and I quote, why it's time for us to get behind Warren. Exactly. The New York Times, mind you, a source of reputable information. I mean, it's not like Judith Miller works there anymore or anything. <sighs> Professor Suzanne Roberts, Ph.D., scholar, poet, has a specialization in pedagogy, double X chromo, and therefore, duh, somebody who is perfectly capable of detecting someone's bias in a given work, whereby even the most cursory of searches on YouTube can prove just how sexist Bernie Sanders isn't? Uh, Chaz, what the fuck is going on here? Um, yeah, about that. Apparently, Dr. Roberts removed her post directly soon sometime later. So, it's no longer there. <clears throat> Let's move on to a strong womanly written article by Virginia Hefferman that came out the day after the debate, which continued to cement in the minds of Americans a very egregious and downright erroneous claim. As the Democratic debate in Iowa wrapped Tuesday night, Senator Elizabeth Warren confronted the extended hand of Senator Bernie Sanders. How do you confront a hand? A person, yes, but a hand? Objectification much? Oh. He was plainly, after one of those no hard feelings, good game handshakes, we're cool, right? Warren wasn't cool. It's hard to have the presence of mind to refuse the near mandatory displays of collegiality, but she did, folding her hands. Oh my God, who has to shake hands with another, signaling that there are no hard feelings and it was a battle well fought? Grody! Also, Heffernan, that would have been a good point to insert, nevertheless she persisted. I think that would have been better. Noli me tangere, touch me not. Il messaggero no è importante. Looks like somebody seriously needs a Gwyneth Paltrow kill enema and stat. But you go, girl. If Bernie were black like Cuba Gooding Jr., you could totally sue him for forcible touching. But Warren was right to confront Sanders on Tuesday, not least because it showed she's in fighting shape for November, keen, even tempered quick on her feet and she addressed sexism in the campaign with imagination and subtlety yeah quite a bit of imagination i'd say watching the tuesday night kabuki in slow-mo you can see that sanders who's notoriously irritable and suffers from cardiac issues ew old people was riled by whatever warren said and by her refusal to be touched. Let's not forget that, ladies. He shook a finger at her. He shook a finger at her. Then again, he seemed intent on freeing her right hand to grab it. Jesus, I need some wine. This is like reading something out of Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, seriously. He seemed intent on freeing her right hand to grab it. Like he was freeing her inner goddess down on bended knee with her hands clasped in supplication, begging for him to be her very own Christian Grey popsicle. Oh, all he 
toys are the good parts. Jesus. What, Chaz? Heffernan's actually a creationist who also worked at the New York Times? She recommends blogs from climate change deniers? There are links and shit to outside sources? <clears throat> Whatever. Pretty Sanders is sexist. Now look, Linda, okay? That Goebbels uh, argument only works for Trump, okay? Got it? Got it. 